friends. Thanks for joining me in the studio. I am so excited to share with you today the release of my vintage artistry Moonlight Garden collection. I thought I would spend some time kind of walking through the papers and design thoughts as I get started in showing you this awesome new collection that I've designed for 49 and Market. So let's get started. First, we have the 12 by 12 collection pack. As you can see here, it includes eight double-sided papers, one of each design, and a fussy cut sheet. So the fussy cut sheet is on the back of our cover. If you're not familiar with the products, the cover sheet almost always has a fussy cut sheet on the back or bonus design. Try to maximize our print. And here is the first paper. I just, I have a series I've done in the past of um, taped together papers and I brought that into this collection, taping and painting vintage ephemera, botanicals, butterflies, kind of my usual, but the palette is you know, soft and dreamy. The blues and grays lend themselves nicely to winter, to wedding, to just classic, timeless scrapbooking and paper crafting. All right, and then the back side is a little ditzy print. You can see I've got some stamped backgrounds in there, some texture. Give it a little more of an old vintage feel to it. And then this paper has can see some hints of butterflies and there's a little dragonfly mixed in with the botanical and canvas paint. Really gives you a nice mixed media base to start your projects with. And then the back side is a textured pattern, kind of an essential stripe in the mint green color. And then our strips at the bottom are always useful too. And this one has the pattern from one of the washi tapes that I will show you in a little bit. I love this one. It's so rich and the blue green mixture is just classic. I mean, honestly, even Christmas goes with this, with the blue green colors. I get all kinds of vibes with this. Nice canvas textures, some hints of ephemera in here. Uh, butterfly peeking out, newsprint in the background, and some old tape. Just really a great foundation. And on the back side, ooh, I like how this one printed. Yeah, this is my first time actually looking at all the papers. So um, in printed form, of course. Little bits of ephemera, some handwriting, you know, kind of a ready-made frame area to bring and give your focus to your page if you're using this for scrapbooking. And love this little strip at the bottom with all the little dots. You might recognize those from our wishing bubbles. And this is just a classic neutral with the vintage edges. See that vintage ephemera along the edges, the neutral botanicals and stitched photo mat. And again, the painted base to give you a good focal point. If you're starting a scrapbook page, this can almost be like a quick page ready. Tells you where to place your photos and have the accents of the flowers on the sides. You could even kind of fussy cut these flowers to pop above your images and the butterfly too. Lots of great options here. And then the back side's an all over print. And the nice rich blue with some birds and butterflies and botanicals. And here we've got another neutral just really dreamy. I love the softness 
of this mix. You know, the mix of the blended in ephemera and the writing and the hand-drawn butterflies and botanicals. Really, really nice. They kind of look like, like snowball botanicals, right? So you could easily work this in for winter or spring or summer. It's really a year-round classic collection. And on the back side of this, we again kind of have like a page starter. So you've got your mat in the center and you can put your photo frames on here and then add some laser cuts and you're all started with a page. You know, but if you don't like this look, you can even cut out pieces to use in your journals or smaller pages. Really lots and lots of possibilities here. I love designing for endless possibilities. All right, so then we brought some birds into this collection. I try to make them happier birds. And they're got nice big eyes and they're kind of smiling at you. And again, we've got a center area for to start your page. And the edges are lined with ephemera. You see all that? I think when I pull them up too high, maybe you can't see quite as well. Um, but lots of detail in there. Lots of layers, lots of layers of ephemera and sewing, lace, you see the lace up in there. Good stuff. And again, on the back, we've got like a page starter. So it's a base that allows you to quickly and easily put together a page. And we just love that. There's a lot of vintage writing from textbooks, some faded in leaves, one of the painted palettes, just all ready to go. And then at the bottom, you've got a strip of lace. And this page is just a collage of ephemera. Whether you use this for a scrapbook page or maybe you die cut out different shapes or tags or fussy cut out the botanicals, and butterflies, lots of possibilities here too. Hold it down here so you can see it all. And then on the back side, we've got a nice strong contrast on this page. So you've got the um, dark charcoal and white and it really adds a nice contrast. You know, you want to be sure that when you're designing your pages and projects, you know, there is some contrast that helps draw your eye through your pages. And that's what this pattern will help. Little strips of it or whatever. All right, and the last paper here includes a window. You can get into all kinds of... Um, subliminal thoughts with this, or um, tell some stories. We've got the lace and the vintage engravings and the handwriting and lots of paint and a little alphabet sampler. Just really a great base for your creativity to explode. And on the back side of this, we've got another all over pattern with the butterflies and the birds and the botanicals. And that, my friends, completes the paper collection. Hope you enjoyed my little narrative going through it. Let me know down below if you did or you didn't. I can always go back to just music, but I just thought I'd give my little two cents in between all of this. Here we have our colored foundations for Vintage Artistry Moonlight Garden. And in this pack, there are eight double-sided papers, two of each design. So there are four different papers, four. Okay, got it, four. And we're gonna go through the four. And on the back side is a bonus pattern. So it's a light gray silver version of the strong contrast paper that is in the main collection. All right, so with the painted foundations, one side is watery, kind of subtle, kind of dreamy, 
with lots of newsprint mixed in and typography. And then the other side is a painted textured true, true solid, so-called solid, um, but just more of a solid. Hopefully you can see the texture in there okay. So this first paper is kind of a sagey green. And then we go to more of a blue green. And again, we have our dreamy watery side and the more textured, lightly textured cardstock. And again, a deeper green on this one. Make sure you can see here, these are different. This one is more of a gray green. Am I holding them up right? Um, more of a gray green and then this other one definitely has more green in it. And then the back side of this one has a different texture. And then we have a charcoal one. So again, dreamy and watery on one side. And then the back side is textured. Okay, so that is our colored foundations. We're not calling them painted, I guess. We're calling these colored foundations. And definitely a must with the Moonlit Garden collection pack. Okay, last up for the paper is the six by eight Moonlit Garden collection pack. Now this one has 28 sheets, three of each of nine designs, and they are double-sided. So I've pulled out each design, so we're not gonna go through all the duplicates, but I will show you each design, the A side and the B side. And the B side of our cover sheet has a bonus paper. And then we will go through the papers. All right, first is this one, a smaller version of the one from the main collection. As with this one, I mean, perfect for a little six by eight journaling for card making. I mean, look, if, you know, you fold this in half, a sentiment nicely goes on there. And same with this one, really, um, Classic designs, very useful. And this one's got the birds and the painted center and the repeat pattern on the back side. And the daisies, I love the softness of this one. So dreamy and soft. And a softer version of the contrast pattern on the back here and the blue one, this rich blue teal. This really might be a favorite. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck. And I like the other side too, so I'll have to hoard this paper because I wanna keep the one side and the other side, right? Do you find yourself doing that too? Yep, I do that quite a bit. And here we've got our window paper and on the back side, again, is the foundation that's ready to start a page. And the botanical. And lovely blue, classic background, so versatile. I mean, you can use this for anything. Then we always include some horizontal versions in our pack. So here you've got the original design reworked into more of a horizontal format. And the back is horizontal as well with the foundation page starter to get you going. Another horizontal design for you with the birds and the stitched frame center. And then the back side is a classic pattern. And then we've got, oops, what do I have here? Okay, then we've got our fussy cut sheet, some extra elements with a solid on the back. And a great neutral 
collaging sort of solid on the back side of the back of our cover sheet. And you can always cut all of these out too and use them as little minis. So there you go. That concludes the six by eight collection pack. Here is the Moonlight Garden film strip frames. I'm actually not gonna open this one, um, but you can really see here what you're getting in the pack. Lots of tan and blue colored film strips, and you can see here on the back what the assortment is. So there's um, full strips, they're fully transparent, but they don't have the frame holes cut in them. And then there's the larger strips, and smaller ones, and then there's a little storyboard and transparency frames too. So a great essential, great in neutrals to go with a lot of different collections. So you've got the taupe, the blue, and like a light gray in this collection. Next up are the laser cut elements for Moonlight Garden. So we've got our classic elements and we've got our wildflower laser cuts. Both are very intricate. There is minimal duplication from the wildflower laser cuts into the classic elements. And um, I'll just open them up here. You can see on the back, the scale of the package. But we'll go ahead and open each one of these up so you can see the pages and see what we've got for you to work with. So this sheet, as you can see, has lace and stems and tickets, little doily edgers, a frame, tabs, some stitch sentiments, little birds, postage, you know, all sorts of little whatnots that you need. And then again here, we've got more stems and tickets and leaves and botanicals and butterflies and this lovely vintage book here made into a frame for you. And some torn sentiments, just lots of good variety to tuck in and under your pages. And then of course we always have the fussy sheet. So this is on the back of the cover sheet. You've got the papers that are great for tucking in and under things. A repeat of an element from the ephemera pack, some more tickets, um, frames, but this time they're filled in. Just lots of value. All right, so let's open the Moonlight Garden wildflower laser cuts. So the main one has 116 items. This one has 77. More just because they're they're big and you know stems that are going to flow all over your pages. So still good good amount of stuff here. Let's see. Oops, I'm struggling. There we go. Pull that out. So we've got our cover sheet, and on the back again, it's a fussy cut, lots of different little elements and papers and frames. And then we have our botanical sheets. Okay, I don't know which way is up. I think they go, everything goes every which way. So you've got botanicals, butterflies, Dragonflies, lots of dragonflies in this collection. Leaves, you can see how intricately, I'm not even gonna touch them because I'm afraid I'll make it fall out of the pack, um, but so intricate. Really gonna give your pages some really nice look, like you went to fussy cut town on these, but you really didn't because they're all laser cut and it's all, all the work is done for you. And again, this sheet, we've got more birds and butterflies and leafy botanicals. Check out all that fine detail. Really nice. I do feel like our laser cuts are getting better and better each round. 
All right, so that concludes the laser cuts from Moonlit Garden. I hope you love them. These are the Moonlit Garden Spiral Notebook set. If you have not seen our Spiral Notebooks, you're gonna wanna see them. They are so fun and they've been something I've really enjoyed for this year. And we've included them in a lot of our collections for this past year. And I just love them. So let's take a look at the Vintage Artistry Moonlit Garden. Let's open these up. I always fold this end in so it doesn't stick to anything. All right, so we've got, the pack comes with two books, and these are like a mini album foundation all ready to go for you. So we've got a little four by six and a six by eight. In this collection, the six by eight is a horizontal design, and I'm just gonna flip through the book so you can see what we have for you. Everything is designed as a spread, so you can have a nice, cohesive two-page design in a mini book. A great, great little album. I mean, you could do it as, you know, December stories, your winter stories, and just a wedding album. And maybe it's a story about new beginnings and or even travel. Maybe you've done some traveling that this is really suited for. So that is the six by eight. And then we have the four by six. And the four by six book has little tabs in it. So you've kind of got a cover design pre-made for you. And you can just add photo and a sentiment and a title. You've got your first spread and then your second the third, all in keeping with the full collection's color palette. Really versatile, timeless, classic, you name it. That's what this collection is. That's just gorgeous. Look at that. And your back cover. So all ready to go for you. I'll cut, I'll trim nice, I'll bound. Two mini albums. You gotta have them. Another thing we've been doing in our collections this year are essential file sets. And so the Moonlight Garden also has a file set. And you can see on the back that these come with file folders, envelopes, and little pockets if you're gonna do um, album construction or that sort of thing. So let me open them up and take a look and show you what we've got for you. Okay, so first we have these little envelopes and the backs are just printed with the solid color. So you've got um, five envelopes. And these are envelope fronts made, you know, so that you can stuff things in. They're pre-scored. Can you see that on there? So it's really easy to fold the sides in add some glue on the strips and adhere to your page and then you can stuff things inside, right? Simple like that. Really fun, really cute, really versatile. And then we've got these three file folders. Who doesn't love file folders? Whether you're organizing or creating something. So we've got this design and this one, and this one. You know, you can take these and put them all together and bind them, and you could have a mini book, just kind of like what you have with our spiral notebooks, but with the file folders. Really simple to do. Lots of possibilities with these, a definite must have. And then if you're an album maker and you use a lot of our foundations, these are a great addition with pre-printed sleeves. So again, it's already slit, so you can stick things in here. It's already scored, 
So again, you can easily fold, easily if you're not as clumsy as I can be, fold and glue and then adhere to your page and you've got a pocket all ready to go. And this one has, even the pockets are already glued on here and made and you can just stick this in your album. Simple as that. All right, so that is our Moonlit Garden Essential File Set. All right, Moonlit Garden Ephemera Bits. This is a pack. This pack has 114 die cut shapes. You can see them here on the back. And we'll open this up and go through them. So, I really try to design with a great variety. Okay, you get an extra paper on the inside and you can see all the elements here on the back. But I try to design a lot of elements that are great for layering, you know, tucking in and under your pages or photos or maybe sticking in a mini, mini album or an art journal. So we've got all these big pieces in the various colors of the collection, and I'm sure I'll find more as I go through this. Um, and then we have some frames. You can see we leave them together so that you can have extra pieces, and this way we get more in our packs too. And a little file folder, like a card catalog drawer, and here we've got some extra labels ready for journaling with some prompts. And then you've got one just loose like that. All right, we've got these metal plaques. You can use them as a base for a photo or as a journal card. And again, some more pieces that are great for tucking under. I mean, I really love them, you know, with things poking out from the sides. You can grunge up the edges and have lots of nice layers. Okay, sometimes these packs are just so fun and so full. Here's another frame, because, you know, you gotta have your variety, contrast and variation. A little clock piece. See, when you put these two frames together on a page, you've got some nice contrast. Contrast in size, contrast in materials, makes for a nice page design. And you go further with these slide frames. So again, bring it down and there's more, more variety. Another clock face. And really, can't you use this as an element? I totally think you can. Okay, we've included lots of tags, tickets, go through and get some more slide frames here with some moss, clocks. I think clocks are coming back. They, I felt like they used to be a big thing in, in um, scrapbooking and maybe they went away for a while, but now they're back and a little slide frame, another flower bud, some more tags. I've been trying to include more like full size page titles in our ephemera. So this one has a few. We've got memory, dreamer, and family. And family's got a few punch outs that you can go in and punch out. And we've got some more slide frames here. I really like the ones with the newsprints, don't you? They really add a lot of interest. They, they're great for a smaller project. And they add lots of contrast. We've got more clocks. That one had dragonfly. And I'm just gonna keep going and going here to show you all 100, what did I say, 114? items kind of a lot 
real value pack if you ask me, right? 49 and Market is always full of value. Can't go wrong. And these collections are collections you can use again and again, and you can mix with our other collections. Everything, it's like your animals, right? From the old days, you can mix and match and everything goes together. Got journal labels. Great to tell your story, to give a base. They could even be a photo frame, right? Some sentiment spots. Lots of different styles and variety. Again, to bring contrast to your project so it's not all just flat and the same. And we've got some botanicals. Another dragonfly clock. Some more tags. You could do a page with just a whole bunch of tags across. Gosh. If I didn't have so many other collections to design, I could just be scrapping forever with this. I love the little banners with the script. You know, really classic, timeless sentiments, beautiful inside and out. This one said, you have my full heart. And then we've got some book plates with good times. This is life, magical. I love every memory with you, right? We got the good life. These are great for tucking under photos, under journalers, so that they're just kind of poking out. So we have a variety of those in this pack. And of course, some wavy banner sentiments too. We've got your sentiments covered. We always do. Tickets with sentiments, banners with sentiments. I tell you, we got you covered. Tickets, hearts. And all these tickets, you can see I'm not going to pop them all out, but they all have little pop-outs. Makes them kind of fun. Maybe you could weave some ribbon through there or some lace. These are magical moments. All different kinds of book plates. And then blank ones too. So you can either handwrite in your own or use some rub-ons. Then we've got a variety of just blank labels all ready for you to journal. These are great for adding dates to your projects, if nothing else, or just adding a strip of color too. A special day. And with this slide reel, we added a centerpiece with another sentiment. And you can totally use this for something, right? Waste not, want not. And you push out all these holes and you've got your slide reel. Some more labels. Lots of bits and pieces. And these, all the centers pop out. I'm just not doing it for every one of them. But we've got more variety of our sentiments. And the colors, just classic things that can be used again and again. You know, you can use part of this collection for one album, part for another. Hearts, tickets. And now we have a few more big pieces. So we've got this one, old piece of ephemera, some tickets. Again, great for dates, journaling, just a little accent, grunge them up. Another slide reel. This one, we didn't use the center, so it's got the center ready for you to do something. And then you can punch out all of the pieces and another background piece. Our backs are not printed in the ephemera, so you've just got these background pieces. Great, right? Totally awesome. Can't wait to see what everyone does with this collection. Ultimate Page Kit, the Moonlight Garden Ultimate Page Kit.
is a must. Whether you're a scrapper, a 12 by 12 scrapper or not, what you will find in this kit is something everyone's going to want. So let's open it up and go through it. Okay, the main concept behind this is that you're getting everything to create these four pages like you see here. Okay, so let's take a look. Now I'll show you what we got going on here. Okay, so we've got some washi tape. Okay, a little pokey dotty washi tape. And we've got some tchotchkes. We've got some gray leather cord and some black metal binder clips. So I'm gonna set those aside. And then we've got all of the stuff. Okay. So first is this sheet of chipboard. So this is chipboard that's all die cut, you can see here. And all of the things that are used in the pages, plus we always include some extras in case you want a different sentiment or you wanna use them on something else. Okay, so we've got this. And then let's go through here. So many sheets of laser cuts in this pack. You know, the value just blows my mind. I've been going through these and using them in my art journal projects because there's all kinds of extra pieces that you don't get in the other collections. I mean, you get some of them, but maybe they're in different sizes or have different words. It's just, you know, it's a great variety. Okay, so this laser sheet has a lot of ephemera, a lot of leaves, some lace. And again, you need most of these things if you're doing the four pages. But if you're not doing the four pages, you know, you can still have the time of your life with all this stuff. Okay, different um, pieces of ephemera with the torn deckled edges. This laser sheet has like a hinged frame that's used in one of the pages, it has leaves and branches and sentiments. Oh, I just love seeing it all together like this. Makes me wanna get busy. Okay, another botanicals. Um, some window frames. And then you've got these extra pieces that you'll need for the pages. And they are just various die cut ephemera because we like to tuck things in and under. And again, same with this, in and under. And then you get the papers. So the papers on one side have the printed base and then the other side has a finished page. Now, some people like to build right onto the finished page, so it shows you exactly where to place everything. Otherwise, you can just start with this base. I believe this on the back of our cover sheet are four small versions of what you're creating. So you can reference this sheet so you would be doing this one here if you were doing this. So then you would go through all your elements and find these elements to lay out the page. Okay, it's really pretty simple. All right, and then we've got this page. Again, it's the painted base. And this is the finished page you're creating. You can see like the washi tape. Now the washi tape, I should open if I remember what I designed here, yeah. Okay, so can you see how we've got different designs? I've got like an ephemera piece, a stripe, a polka dot, and that's so that you can pull off different pieces and use them here. So really versatile, right? Oh, this page, I love how this looks, whoops. I love how this looks with the green and the half tone pattern. And then you're building this page on top of it. So that was that hinge frame we saw in the laser cuts. And then for your last page, this is your base. And again, this is what you're building on top of it. And you have this sheet to reference 
as you're building your pages. So that, my friends, is the ultimate page kit. And that is why you need to have it in your stash. Now I bring to you the Moonlit Garden Cluster Kit. So in this kit, it's the same concept as the page kit, but you're making clusters. And you're going, you have everything that you need to make these four clusters. But you don't have to use everything in there to make the clusters. Again, just like the page kit. So let's go through it and I'll show you what we've got. Peel this off. I always stick it back there so I can use it again. All right, so we've got a little package of tchotchkes. We've got little metal paper clips, way more than you need, and some wax cord here as well, and buttons that match the collection. Love that. Okay, then we have a little packet of ephemera. Why don't we go through here and see what we've got for you. And we've got our little slide reel, some tickets, and a number of pieces of ephemera. Again, that you're gonna be tucking under different elements, journal cards, and a slide reel. All right, so we got you there. Then we've got this sheet here of chipboard. And yeah, I'm pretty sure these are adhesive. Yeah, so these, this pack is adhesive. So they peel off and they're adhesive, but I would recommend adding glue still to make sure they don't fall off your pages but it does make it easier to build your page. So we've got some frames, hearts, labels, and book plates. Then we have lasers. Lasers, lasers, and more lasers. We're all about your lasers, aren't we? So we've got some doily edgers, leaves, doilies, a, metal, a wooden looking bracket, botanicals, on this sheet and then this sheet has more leaves and botanicals chicken wire right who needs chicken wire i love chicken wire and i love the contrast of the outlined botanical that is worked into let's see if i can, can see from the cover see it's in this cluster here the chicken wires in there you use a little clip to clip them together. And these leaves, aren't these leaves just like lush? Love, 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 love. All right, and that, my friends, is the Moonlit Garden Cluster Kit. Washi, Moonlit Garden has the washi. Okay, here is the washi tape assortment got three rolls in it. It's got a butterfly roll. And we will show at some point, I'm gonna show where I've teared it off, okay. So we've got butterflies. And then we've got moonlit newsprint, right? Who needs that? Everyone needs that. And then we've got this really skinny roll that I'm really loving. So it's really skinny and it's a collage of different ephemera pieces. Fun, right? Okay, then we've got our postage washi. And did you know the side hole thing is meant for you to be able to dispense your tapes? Just in case you didn't know. Thought I'd throw it out there. All right, here we go. Woo, our postage washi. See them all? I'm gonna line them up here. Classic, perfect little accents. 
whether you're using on a page, sealing on an envelope, just accessing on a journal page, you're gonna want those. And then we've got our washi sticker roll. And just look how much is on here, so much. And if you've never used our washi sticker rolls, all you have to do is kind of bend by one of the items and you'll see they come off just like that. So, cool, right? All right, that is Moonlit Garden Washi. Be sure you get yours. All right, Moonlit Garden Chipboard. We've got the chipboard word set and we've got the chipboard bits. So on the back here, you can see all the different elements that are in the bits and all the different words that are in the word pack. So I'm just gonna go through a few of these. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but this collection has a nice um, fine line, mono line script. And you can punch out little hole so really nice fine delicate and then for contrast I've made these little strips you know so they layer nicely and that's the thought behind designing them like this so a whole variety of words look how this one punches out Always got to have a hello, right? I feel like I use hello on a lot of different things. Hopefully not too overused, but you know, I love it. It's classic. It's simple. It's universal. Okay, so those are our words. Then we're going to go into the chipboard bits. And again, I'm just going to show you a few of the items. You can see here we've got little sentiment circles, we've got the bird on a leaf, we've got some book plates, book plates with some words that pop out of them, banners, move this over to the side here, butterflies, never enough butterflies, and again contrasting strips of sentiments, and book plates, and then these flags that I like to use to tuck in and under things leaves, more moss and butterflies and sentiments and a bird. Just a great little variety of items that will add great contrast to your pages. And there's even, gotta pull this one out. Um, so there's a little daisy, see that, it's so cute. And I didn't get any of these when I pulled, so let's look at Whoops, got some hearts. Okay, there's also four tags in the bits. So all these sentiments, ephemera, and then tags with the hole punched out so you can add your own string and make a great accent. Okay, so that is the Moonlit Garden chipboard bit set. 57 pieces in the bits and 54 pieces in the words. Can't go wrong. The wishing bubbles for Moonlit Garden. Lots of little hearts, sentiment dots, epoxy stickers make great accent for your projects. So there's that. Then let's get into the rub-ons. So the Moonlit Garden collection has a six by eight pack. And this pack includes six sheets that you can see here and I'll just Quickly flip through them so that you can see. <clears throat> so we've got our cover and we've got a leaf set, a butterfly set, botanicals, text splashes, great for adding texture, a black and white engraving sheet, love this and some splashy sentiments. And that completes 
our six by eight pack. Really versatile set, and you're gonna really wanna have that in your stash. And then we've got the 12 by 12 set. So let me pull that out of the package. You can see it a little bit more here. I'm trying to get the light to not reflect. Maybe I don't need to pull it out. You can see all the different elements that are in here. <clears throat> and then we have our 12 by 12 sentiment sheet. Great for instant page titles. So we've got you know, live for today, with you right now, enjoy life, little moments. Nice, general, timeless sentiments ready for your project. Sorry for that glare. Kind of frustrating. Okay, and then lastly, last but certainly not least, are the color wash rub-ons. I just love these. There are six large watercolor ephemera rub-ons. You can see them better on the back here. That are perfect for adding texture behind things. You can slice them down the middle and have them coming off of an edge and get more use out of them or slice them center-wise. Lots of different possibilities to get creative with these. All right, and this, my friends, concludes the Moonlit Garden product release. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and follow along. Let me know what you'd like to see in your comments down below. And I look forward to seeing what you all create. Be sure you tag me on Instagram and Facebook so I can see your amazing creations. All right, have a great day, everyone. We'll see you again soon. Bye.